Welcome back for Sports. I'm Jake Sivan. After a win last night, the Beavers had the chance to win the Civil War Series today, a game you watched on this channel this afternoon. Freshman Jace Fry, who we profiled this week, starting for the Beavs, top three ducks up 1-0. Ryan Hambright at the plate. He lines it into the gap. Aaron Jones was on second. He scores easily, and the Ducks go up 2-0 for the second straight game. And for the second straight game, the Beavers respond. Danny Hayes continues his tear with a two-run bomb to right field in the sixth inning, ties the game up at two. So for the second straight game, the Beavers go down, come back to tie it. Then in the seventh, Nick Rooley is pinch hitting for the Beavs. This is his third at bat of the entire season, and he sends it down the line. Kevin Kai scores the go-ahead run, a double for Rooley. What a story, what an at bat. Bottom ninth, same score, Ducks with the runner on third, one out. Our own Eric Elkin had the call on KEZI 9+. Plus. This is one of those situations, one and two to Healy. Lines one into left, Conforto makes the shoestring catch, the throw home, the play at the plate. Payne is out at the plate and that ends the ball game. Beavers win 3-2 and win the Civil War Series. Eric Elkin called the game on KEZI 9 Plus and wraps it up for us from Corvallis. In one of the more exciting finishes in Civil War history, the Beavers take Game 2 from the Ducks 3-2. Now before we get to that last play, the Beavers took their only lead in this ball game on an RBI double in the seventh inning from Nick Rooley. Who? Yeah, the guy only had two at-bats all season and wasn't even in the dugout when he was called to pinch hit. Actually, to be honest, I was in the bathroom, so I didn't, I didn't know. But, uh, I just ran. I ran down to the dugout, heard my name, threw on my helmet, threw on my batting gloves. It's ready to go. I mean, if you told me that before the game, I'd say you're crazy. But when Coach Case put him up there, I just had a good feeling. An Irish luck, I guess. <laughs> Of course, then the play to win it came not down to Michael Conforto's bat, but his glove and his arm. It's actually funny, uh, right before that, um, you know, I was, I was talking to Joey, I was like, get the arm loose, man, because we're, you know, we're about to throw a guy out. I didn't really think he caught it, I thought he trapped it, but then I saw the umpire come up with the out. Kudos to Conforto for making an accurate throw, and then uh, Gorton hanging on to that ball in a good, clean power slide, and... It was a tough pill to swallow. After the play, there was a whole lot of jawing going on between the two sides, but neither team really wanted to comment on it. But it certainly sets the stage for tomorrow's Game 3. In Goss Stadium in Corvallis, Eric Elkin, KZI 9 Sports.